This is the table that I used in my last example to which I dropped, but now I would like to recreate this table. But this time I want to recreate this table with a primary key. So I have this users table with three fields. In order for me to create a table with a primary key, again I would like to tell you that a primary key allows a field to have a non duplicate value. So all the values within a field will be unique and not null. This allows for you to be able to recognize one row from another row uniquely. So that's why you go anywhere in the database world, you do have a primary key field on all of your tables. This particular field does not allow for duplicate values and only allow for unique values and allow a unique representation of a row among all the other rows. So examples would be your social security number, your student ID, your employee ID, any any identification that uniquely identifies you within a system. So all I need to do is just go to that field that I want to promote to the primary key status and just type primary key over here. Now that's one of the many ways to promote a field to a primary key status. Now you can also do it with the help of constraints, but we're going to be keeping things very simple for this course for now. So that's all you need to do. Now I will going to run this. It generates a user's table for me. If I right click and go to design view, you will notice that user ID has this golden symbol or yellow symbol to its left, which identifies that it's a primary key. So that's basically what I wanted to teach you in this tutorial. In next tutorial, we're going to learn how you can insert data using SQL command. Thank you for watching.